Hey, how's it going everyone? Today I'm going to be working again on this Game Boy Advance. So this is a continuation from a previous video that I had made where I went ahead and fixed this that had no power. Uh, now this one, I had already gone through all the troubleshooting steps, but if you want to go ahead and check that video out, please be sure to go through my playlist. I should have that one. It should be like a golden Game Boy. Now, just to give you a little bit of context, this Game Boy had some issues located in the battery terminal where it had a lot of corrosion that leaked onto the switch. I went ahead and troubleshooted uh, and cleaned a lot of the stuff here. I remember I also replaced the fuse, but the switch, after I cleaned it um, several times, it still did not seem to fix the issue and give it the proper continuity to get this powered on. So I went ahead and ordered some switches during that video since I was missing some, and I got those in today. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace them, and these are the switches. I got these from AliExpress. And they're generally around like a dollar or so. Um, if you try to find them on eBay, they tend to cost $5, which is really not that bad either, assuming you only need one. In my case, I buy in bulk, so I definitely had to buy several of them. So with all that said, I'm gonna go ahead and just open this up and start going and getting that switch replaced. So let's go ahead and get started. And since we're gonna be working on this piece, we're gonna wanna remove the motherboard from the, uh, the top housing, I guess the front. And that way we can go ahead and just work with the motherboard alone. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna fire up the soldering iron. Let's go ahead and move the switch. So I'm gonna apply a little bit of flux right here on these joints. So it's gonna be some here on the right and a little bit here on the left. We're gonna test it now to see if everything's working. So we're in the off position and we're gonna put our lead on here and here. That one's working, that one's working. This one should not have anything, okay. Now let's set it to, so let's take a look. So we set it here or here, it should be nothing, but when we switch it to on, there we go. All right, that looks good. Let's go ahead and assemble everything and see if this fixes it.
All right, let's see if this works and there we go. Just as I suspected when I had created the video in the past was that I know I needed to replace that power switch. And just to show you that that's really what it was, we can see that this is evidence that it's working and I'm glad that we were able to restore it back to uh, full working condition. So now we can say that this one is fully repaired. So like I mentioned earlier, these switches, I got them from AliExpress. They were pretty cheap. I got uh, here a bundle as you can see. I can go ahead and put the link up and you all saw how easy it was. Now I did have to use the heat gun to remove the switch completely. I do notice that if you use the soldering iron, you can tend to uh, accidentally rip the pad. So I didn't really want to deal with that. I figured I'll just use the heat gun. Um, that way we do a job correctly. And so we were able to remove it, replace it, and now we got it working. If you guys liked today's video, please be sure to leave a like. If you have any questions or concerns, please leave a comment below. And if you're new to the channel, please be sure to subscribe as I release weekly content. I'll catch you all next time.